What's up guys, today I'm going to be giving a partial review of V-Quality WoW, and I'm going to give a full review because it's a fairly new server, I feel like that wouldn't be fair, there's still some problems, whatever, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys what the server is and give my personal opinion of it. Enjoy. So what is V-Quality WoW? Well, as of right now, it's a strictly PvP server, um with some basically twinking, twinkified elements that otherwise would not be in retail WoW. Um, they're kind of taking different things, they're customizing it for twinks, and uh, they're kind of making the server balanced for twinks, which I like. They're taking in certain elements, and uh, they're taking out certain things, like the Furblog Medicine Pouch, for example. Uh, it used to have that health effect. Well, they kind of took that out because it was a little bit of an unbalanced thing. Some people don't like it. Some people do, personally. I think that if they're just trying to make the server balanced and it's applying to everyone, then it's not all that bad. That's just me. Anyway, what kind of PvP does this server have to offer? As of right now, granted, it's only a month old, so this probably will change. But as of right now, there are four things you can do when it comes to PvP on the server. There's dueling, which is very common, obviously. Uh, the battleground, specifically, Warsong Gulch, because that's the only one available to level 19s. Uh, you have the Zulgarub Arena, which you can use to get a headpiece. Uh, I'll get more to that in a minute. And lastly, there are arenas. Arenas, what's cool about that is that you actually can get gear from arenas. It's not just for fun. You can get items from it. You use arena points. You can have your own team, obviously. It's, uh, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5, that kind of thing. Um, there are some guilds. Money as a currency doesn't really matter, so there's no guild vaults. But um, basically, that that's pretty much it. You kind of stay in the center hub that I'm showing you here now. And uh, you never really leave it unless if you're going to the arena or to a battleground. So what makes V-Quality Twinks different from normal Twinks? Well, what's cool about these Twinks on the server is that you can gear them far past any kind of twinking you would do in a retail server. Uh, not a retail server, I'm sorry. A private server that's based on normal Wrath of the Lich King, normal BC, anything like that. And what it does is you take the marks of honor that you get from battlegrounds. Not honor. Honor means nothing. You take the Marks of Honor, and you can get whatever gear. Once you get to a certain amount of Marks of Honor, you then rank up. Like, let's say you start at a private, and then you go to a corporal. Once you're a corporal, you're in a different bracket, and you can get any gear that the corporals have. So the corporal vendor will give you a certain amount of gear. You gear yourself up in corporal gear, and then you set yourself out to the battleground to basically fight everyone else. And the good thing about this server is that even if you're really geared up and you look sick, you're not all that much better than a starter now you are a good a bit better than maybe a starter all right i shouldn't say that you are better than a starter significantly better but if you take someone who's half geared versus someone who's full geared it's not that much you can definitely get by once you get past the starting level once you get up to like corporal you are worse as a player compared to someone who's at the top but it's not so unbalanced that you can't put up a fight if you're in a group you can take someone good down it's not super unbalanced and that's what i love about this server the server aims for balance like they'll take out certain items that are overpowered like the fur blog medicine pouch they took that out because they felt like the health boost was just too much they kept the stamina but they took out the health boost now i know people i'm not going to get into specific items which items should be nerfed but i like that they're taking certain items out or nerfing them just to make the entire server more balanced um not saying i agree with that one specifically but i just i like the idea of them really taking the time and making the server as balanced as it can because as they can because that's kind of what will make a server last and you know stay alive versus a server that will die is the stability now what i meant by that was that Having a server that has these extra kinds of uh, things to balance it out for twinking is what's going to keep that server versus a normal generic server away. Like if you had a generic twinking server with no extra gearing, that uh, that's the, this is the kind of thing that will push this server above all the other ones. That's all I meant. I'm not saying that a normal twinking server without these kinds of items or a normal server with twinking won't live because of anything like that. I'm just saying that having these extra things are what's, is what's going to keep people playing and it's what's kept me into this server I, I love the gearing aspect of it it really makes the replay value a whole lot better um so that's just my opinion anyway i was talking about balance before i'm not just talking about gear one of the biggest balancing issues that this server has as of right now is speed hacking so what do i mean by speed hacking i'm talking specifically about battlegrounds warsong gulch there have been a lot of speed hackers who will, I mean, if you don't know what it is, I have video evidence of it here. Um, this is the only video evidence that I've got, but basically players will just fly across the map, take the flag, return it to their base in less than a second, because, I mean, the GMs, 
it takes them a little while to to get rid of this so to to report a player and to get rid of them you kind of gotta show video evidence of it in most cases to ban the player unless if there are a lot of people noticing it if there are a lot of people in the bgr reporting the same player you might get lucky and they might just ban him but um so that's that that's pretty much it so speed hacking is a problem, but I'm not all that concerned. I mean, it is a brand new server, so I'm sure it's going to grow and it's going to have more staff members who will control this kind of thing. But as of right now, it is somewhat prevalent. So we've talked about V quality itself, like what it is. We've talked about how it's how twinks there are different from normal twinks. And we've talked about the gearing. But how is the PvP itself? How is the community? Well, the community is pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty small community, so you actually get to know some of the players, which is something I like. When I played on Mormon, there was just such a big community, and there were so many people, and a lot of them were just unfriendly. Uh, you can't blame the server for that, but I mean, it is, uh, it is a matter of fact. Um, the, the people just weren't as friendly. Here, it's a lot more friendly. There are a lot more friendly people. It's small. You kind of, it's like a small town, you know, a small school. You kind of just get to know the people. Even the people you don't like, you get to know who you don't like. That kind of thing. Um... There are small guilds right now, but I mean, there are only a couple hundred players right now, so if you're into twinking, I highly recommend you go here, because even a couple hundred players is enough that for at least half the day there is a, a sufficient supply, because there's only so much you can do on the server as of right now, so there's plenty, uh, there are plenty of battlegrounds going on at most times. Um, now, it is a European server, so um, the timing may be different depending on where you live, uh, what times that servers, or what time the server will have people playing you know, online. Like, as of right now, I think there are only five people online here. Uh, it's one in the morning here in the eastern time of the U.S., so 1 a.m. From, like, 11 to 1, there are really very few players. If you get a battleground going, it's probably, like, four or five people on each side. It's never filled around this time, but, you know, if, you, if you're playing around noon, you know, 5, 6, 7 o'clock eastern time, uh, that's pretty good. Um, but it depends on your location, you know, it's different. That's for me. I'm sure it'll be different for anybody who's not living in my general region. Oh, and I figured I'd just mention this. This server does, like a lot of other ones, have a naked bug where pair players will appear naked. But if you log out and re-log in, then it disappears. I'm gonna make one more point about the PvP here. As you can see, I am not the most geared player. I'm having like normal blues, a few purples, but nothing extremely good. But as you can see here, I'm not, you know, I'm not patting my. I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back here. I'm not trying to be arrogant at all. I'm just trying to make the point here that this this was a good game for me. And even if you're not the most geared player in, player in the battleground, if you're a decent player, you know how to gear yourself, you know how to keybind, and and you know, you're doing things the way you should be, you can still do very well in the battleground. This battleground, I think I went 11 and two or something like that. I forget exactly what I got, but I know that it was decent. I'll give you guys the footage here. And I wasn't. I was by no means the best player in the battleground at the time. I just happened to know what I was doing, I was having a good day, I was focused, and things were going well for me. So that's showing that even if you're not the best player, you can still get by or thrive in a server like this. So that's a good point to make. Now having said what I just said, that doesn't mean that there aren't overpowered classes as of right now, or classes that will counter others. I mean, that's to be expected. Um, but, you know, they're working on making everything as balanced as they can. I'm not saying that I don't have my weaknesses here. I'm not saying that if you're a good player that you won't die. I mean, you're going to. Like, as a rogue, if I run into a hunter, I'm screwed. I don't care. It doesn't matter who I am. That's why I feel like there are certain things about the server that could be changed for the better. Like, I think that rogues should be getting poisons. Now, I know there are going to be people, and there have been people who have disagreed with me on this, but I've got a lot of support, especially from other rogues, although they're biased too. Even people who aren't rogues, though. A lot of people agree. When you don't have poisons, you go up against something like a hunter, you know, you have one insignia. You have one remove for a wing clip or a concussive shot. Once you get dazed or slowed, hunter aspects of the cheetah shoots you, you're screwed. You get a mage, you're screwed too. A uh, hunter decides to concussive blow you, you insignia and you attack as quickly as you can, right? You gouge them, whatever. Then once they get that wing clip on you and they run off, you're screwed. You can't fight back. So that's just that's just a point to make. I'm not going on this whole rant. That's not what this video is about. I'm just trying to make the point that there are certain things in the server that could be changed for the better. I mean, I think back in retail, it didn't take up to level... I don't think it took to level 20 to get normal poison. I think you should get basic crippling poison, and I'm pretty sure they could do it. I mean, they, they've made transmogs, you know, they've done stuff like that. So I think, personally, that there are some things that the server lacks in yes but i'm not saying that it's going to stay that way and i'm not i'm not you know knocking on the server it's a brand new server i can't expect that much from the gms i mean they're still working on it and uh i'm sure if i if, i'm sure if i submit some kind of token uh or ticket or whatever i'll i'll get some kind of response so 
It's I'm just I'm cautiously optimistic, but I'm not gonna say that the server's perfect because it's not. When it, in my opinion, it's not entirely balanced, but they're working on it. So I want to give the server a lot of credit for what it is. They did a good job with creating what they said they were gonna create. They created a server that is twinking on steroids. Lots of fun. I play hours at a time, and I just don't get bored with it. In fact, I'm really disappointed now because. I I can't play, so, you know, there are no, no people online, so hopefully that'll change. I'm hoping that with this review, maybe I can get some people into playing it. I highly recommend this server. Uh, I've never seen another Twink server at, like this at all. I've seen I've seen very few Twink servers at all. I don't think I've ever, ever seen any. I've seen some specific level 70, that kind of thing, specific level 70 PvP servers, other, other PvP servers, but nothing for twinking like this. This this is revolutionary in my opinion. So if you're a twinking fan, I, I don't see where else you could go that would be better than this. So um, 10 out of 10 when it comes to that, the fact that this server even exists. Uh, I'm not going to give a letter grade on the server. It's brand new, so I don't really feel like that'd be fair. So I guess that'll conclude this review. So thanks so much for watching. I'll leave a link to, if you want to download it, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, hope to see you on my next video. Thanks.